still sometimes hear people say, now, I don't want to exercise too hard because I want to burn fat. Whoa! <laughs> know ye that low-intensity exercise does not result in greater fat loss. High-intensity burns more fat and calories than low-intensity exercise in the same amount of time. The mix-up comes from the fact that a higher percentage of calories, in fact about 50% of calories, burned in low-intensity exercise do come from fat. High-intensity exercise gets about 40% of the calories burned from fat. But in high-intensity exercise, you burn many more calories than in low-intensity, so you end up burning far more fat calories, too. Confused? Well, here's the take-home message. You don't need to limit your exercise intensity to get lean. Work as hard as is comfortable to you. Make sure your perceived exertion level is also your preferred exertion level. Ideal? Okay, stand up here with me. Let's jump around and do some low impact aerobics. Let me get you warmed up, started in your warm up, and then I'll put some numbers to that for you, and it'll maybe make a little more sense. It's a little confusing right now, Charlotte. Yeah, we need some How help about, here. Okay. How about we do four step touches, alternating, and then four on one leg. Here's four, three, two, take one leg, bring it in, and three, and two, and alternate for four, four, three, two, other leg, it's four, three, you okay? I'm on Okay, it. here's the deal. If you exercise at low intensity for 30 minutes, say, just say, you burn 200 calories. And that's very variable between people. Uh, it's, it, I would not burn exactly the same number as Lon, and Lon not the same as Jennifer. But let's just say for the sake of argument, it's 200 calories. <laughs> In low intensity, half of those calories come from fats in your body. So that would be 100 fat calories. Okay, say I exercise for 30 minutes at high intensity, I'm going to burn a lot more calories. Say I doubled my caloric expenditure and burned 400 calories. Only 40% of those are going to come from fat. But 40% of 400 more. is 160 fat calories. Oh, I see. So that's how come you actually burn more fat calories. Exactamundo. All right. It's all in the numbers. <laughs> but listen, the take-home message here is work as hard as feels comfortable to you. It, light work is not useless. And if you're not strong enough yet to work hard, don't, uh, don't be depressed about it. Let's change these hands. Got a kayak handy? <laughs> well, <A> kayak. <laughs> paddle that thing. All right. Okay, we're in the Buckle mountains. Hands. We're in the Four, creeks. three, two, and that's a kayak. That's how we got up here today is we <laughs> took our kayaks. One of these days we have to learn to roll those kayaks. <laughs> I don't think so. In case so. we turn over. Not on dry land, thank you. More than the intensity of your exercise, I'd like you to be worrying about the regularity. None of this, I'll do it for the winter and just sit on the beach in the summer. Are you well, saying, that, exer so. Are you oh, saying nice. that exercise makes you regular, Charlene? <laughs> that, <laughs> that too. It does, that I too. know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Almost done. Four, three, and hold these singles. We need to stretch you out. Bring these hands in. Little stretch in four, three. Hold this last one right there. Take a second just to pause and stretch your big gastrocnemius. Oh, it's going to do some power work for you. That's this big calf muscle in, in your lower leg. And then if your pelvic tilt here, you get a little hip flexor stretch. No intensity. Goodness knows we're not warm enough to do intense passive developmental stretch just yet. Soon, but not Soon. yet. <laughs> about a half an hour from now. We've got, we got a lot of work to do yet. Hamstrings, right here. So I want you to modify this, and in letters, people tell me they do. 
They want to jump, they jump. They don't want to jump, they don't Up jump. Up and over the coffee table, no problem. Take that leg back. <laughs> Modify, if this is your workout, this is your half hour. And can you do this on the couch? No, no. <laughs> that is not what we mean by preferred exertion. We want you up trying something. Here's the stretch. So you're in pelvic tilt. Feel a little bit of stretch in there. And lastly, the hamstrings on the other side. That's it. Okay. Stand up here with us. We'll get in aerobic feet. There it is. We step touch. Now, there is no problem if you screw up all these patterns. We don't care. In Your fact, heart, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Your heart doesn't care. Any effort is welcome. Any effort is useful. Cheat your way through. Okay. We step touch four. Do a grapevine out and a grapevine home. I'll count you to it. We start. Here's four, three, two, grapevine. Out together, out, touch, back together, back, touch. Four, three, two, grapevine, out. And try that again. And it. Great vine out. Come on home. Watch out. Can you? If you're not quite ready yet, we'll take a few more. All those little taps become knees. Here's a knee. Here's a knee. We got four, up, three, up, two, up, one, up, out, a knee, back, knee, ha. That's right. Cowtown. Coming to you from. The Damn, mountains. Rocky mountains. We had to weave our way through the elk this morning. Are they are they elk or are they mooses? They Those are, are elk, elk and honey. What I'm not Those sure are about. Definitely elk, honey. <laughs> but is, is is more than one moose mice? No. Okay. What, what? Is, is no, I think it's actually moose. And more than one elk is elk high. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next time we do this, we're going to cut it in half. Not yet. Here it is. Step one, two, grapevine. Now stay. Step one. All right, two, we're getting warmed up grapevine. here. Grapevine. Yeah. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Stay. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Stay. <laughs> I don't know. Out. I think Lonnie's taking up too much room. Step knee right there. <laughs> well, Lonnie's got such long legs. He doesn't mean to be uh, <laughs> sort of territorial, but he's got big, long limbs, Jim. I don't know. I think it's a lawyer thing. <laughs> <laughs> Might that be too? Careful, you Now, know. hold it here. Hold yeah. it to stay. I noticed that the elk are, it's, it's the mating season right now. Oh, yeah. Yep. That gets me going, so watch it. Yep. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's change these uh, knees to curls in four, three, two, one. Pull back. That's a change. You find that easier? Yeah, that feels good. Yeah. Okay. I'll count you into doubles. So you got to have two a leg. We got four, three, two. Here it comes. Two, that leg, two, the other. Watch the hands. Down, out. That's a T. Not for tired. Or try. Boy, you can really feel that. Good arms, heart rate gets up well, there. Well, let me tell you, as you take your arms out, you pull your shoulder blades together in the back and say, hello, rhomboids. Now, we want to get this back to singles. One more like this. Three, two. Give me singles, but hold those arms. Ooh, yes. that's tricky. Okay. Four more with the arms. Four, three, two, and I will take those arms out and say, somebody else take this over. I'll do, do something. something. I can do something. Go with you. Do it. Okay, I can do this. All right. You want to bring those arms back in, but we'll keep the arms simple because I think we're going to do two tricks hey, with the lower like body Woohoo. All right. <laughs> We've got curls. I'm going to count you for six curls okay. and one squat. All right. 
so you can uh, just watch me and see with your move. What I time, Kevin? Six, squat. five, four, three, two. Here's your squat. Whoa! Try again. It's six, five, four, three, two, and squat. Up, two. Ten. All right. So three. far, so good. Uh oh. Yes, two, four. one. Squat and <laughs> go. All right. Six, five, so I'm gonna move four, these just a little bit. Three. Two, one, one, squat. Okay, All right, we'll you don't six, go. Five, I'll just do a little four, travel here. Three, two, two one, one, squat. We're with you. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're home. Let's try that one again. This All is right. like around the block. That's yeah, cool. or over the coffee table. Can you do anything else instead of the kick the back? Well, why don't we right. try uh, knees up next time? Okay. Okay. Two, here it comes. one. Here are the knees. Six, five, All right. four, three, two, one, squat. Ooh, I like Again. It. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Squat. Jennifer, I love this. I and go, it's Jen. plenty vigorous. <laughs> and it's no impact. Can you keep it going in the break? All right. The whole break? We trust you. We'll be there. The common question I hear is, how do I get rid of the fat on my thighs or belly or hips? No matter where you store your excess fat, to lose it, you must expend more calories than you take in. So reduce your caloric intake by eating less fat and simple sugar. To increase your caloric output, do regular aerobic exercise like walking or step aerobics and weight train to build more muscle. The more muscle you have, the more calories you burn all day long, even at rest. Jean-Pierre Dupre is a blood fat specialist at Laval University. He says fat just under the skin is only a beauty concern. It's excess fat deep in the abdomen, under the muscle, between the internal organs that's a threat to life. Measure the circumference of the smallest part of your waist and the widest part of your buttocks. Divide your waist by your hip measurement. If the ratio is 0.8 or above for women, 9.5 or above for men, you need to reduce your fat. If a high heart rate during exercise is good for you, why is a high heart rate at rest bad? Well, regular high heart rate exercise, aerobic exercise, strengthens the heart and makes the body more efficient at delivering oxygen through the blood to the rest of the body. Indeed, one of the long-term effects of regular aerobic exercise is a lower resting heart rate, and that benefit far outweighs any risk of a temporary increase in heart rate during exercise. Metabolism is the body's process of breaking down and converting food to usable energy to power life functions like respiration. Resting metabolism is the minimum energy required to sustain life at rest. The higher your resting metabolism, the easier it is to stay lean. So how do you increase your resting metabolism? Pump iron to make muscle. The more muscle you have, the higher your resting metabolism rate. Give me a march, and we're going to turn this into one, two, three, tap. Now, here we go. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. Take it forward. Take it back. Boy, not much now, room sometimes. No, it, and it's, it's dependent on how much space you've got. If you're lucky enough to have a big exercise room, cover ground. Just don't kick the TV over, okay? Yeah, well, there is a rut running that carpet, I can yeah. tell you. <laughs> Next time we come forward, we're going to add on. Tap to the outside. Two, one. Back. Tap to the outside. This side. Forward so far, and tap. So good. Outside, outside. Back and tap. Outside, outside. Put that on automatic pilot. Huh? I'm concentrating. Okay. <laughs> I got it. I got it. All right. We, will, we won't talk to you. Thank you. <laughs> we're going to add on. Watch my feet. Two to the outside, alternate for two, and two to the other side. And step and go. One, two, three, tap. Outside, alternate. Other That's side. That's a tricky, you know. Yeah. Step and go. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Okay. 
and back. One, two, three. Now, instead of doing this front on, see how it feels to turn it a little bit into a little bit of a lunge. Oh, and I just got Step it. Step and go. One, <laughs> two, three, tap, turn, turn, alternate. Other side. One, two, three, tap, two to one side, alternate for two. You got the other side. Step and go. That's it. Alternate. So I got a lot of time. No, I'm having trouble. One, two, three. <laughs> now, you know what we can do on this double? Pull up a knee. Oh, try that. Ball. If you like, if it confuses you, don't bother. Go. One, two, three. Out, knee, out. Alternate two singles. Out, knee, out. And go. That's it. That's it. Yeah. He's got it. Out, in, two singles. Out, in. One, two, three, tap. Now, let's have a contest. Lonnie's so competitive. <laughs> Who can be the most vigorous? Oh. Without jumping. No jumping. No oh, jumping. That's no fair. One, two, Come three. on, you can do it. Out, in, out, in. I'm working on. Come on, Lonnie, you gotta get down with One, those long two, legs. Three. Full range of motion. Well, I can make it more vigorous just by sounding harder. <laughs> Out in. <laughs> Two alternates. But I can get lower to the floor because I have the shortest legs. Okay, you got one more chance. Two all. I bet two knee. Two knee. Back. Alternate. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> okay, hold it here. Oh, hold it here. Work. That was fun. Try one. You, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. I, I don't want to so. know. I should stop. She's in front. I think she won. <laughs> okay, you're going to march too tight, and then you're going to take one out. So, here we go. One, two, out, in. One, two, out. That's it. We're going to add on. We're going to do four alternating lunges in the back. Not this time. Here's two. Out now, lunge back. Here's four, three. March two on spot. Out and in. Lunge. Four, three. That's it. March two right here. Out, in, and back. I like this one. Yeah, it I feels do too. good. Feels good. It's sort of a natural flow, isn't it? Now, I have a feeling you'll do something direct that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have little face. These backward lunges next time become two per leg. Here it is. One, two, one, two. March. Add a knee back there. One, two, one, two. Can you take, take right. back to break? We're giving you good, vigorous... Homework. See you back. One, two, out. The nurse's health study found that in the first two years after quitting smoking, women gain an average of 5.3 pounds more than those women who continue to smoke. Of course, the overall benefits of quitting cigarettes far outweigh any risk and weight gain. But if fear of additional poundage enslaves you to tobacco, take heart in a Canadian study which shows that most women lose all or most of those extra pounds. Quit smoking and start exercising. A Brigham and Women's Hospital study shows even modest weight gain in the middle years can significantly increase the risk of coronary heart disease in women. Results found those who gained 11 to 17 pounds after age 18 had 25% greater risk of heart attack than those gaining 10 pounds or less. Those gaining 18 to 24 pounds increased their risk 65% and the risk tripled for those who gained more than 40 pounds. 
A University of Southern California study found that highly active women who averaged 3.8 hours of exercise weekly since puberty were 60% less likely than inactive women to get breast cancer. Those who logged one to three hours of physical activity per week since puberty were 30% less likely to develop breast cancer compared to sedentary women. Though this is just one study, it suggests that regular exercise may have a tremendous payoff. Catch us up. Here we go back. Now, next time, Woo. let's do two a leg, but lose the knee, lose the knee. Out and out, other leg. March two, wide and tight, but no knee. Once more like that. Here it is. Now, next time, those backward lunges go so way down, way down. To a leg. Ooh, that's good. Other side. Yeah. Okay, here's that march. March two, wide and tight. Down again, switch legs. Now, that can be the source of intensity if you come along with us. You can go down, down, other leg. And it can be even more intense. Have I can a look. Feel that. <laughs> Have a look. Down, knee, down, together. Mm -hmm. Down, knee. Here's that march. And wide and tight. And your choice. You don't have to go that low. But man, if you do, you'll suck air. March, <laughs> two, wide and tight. That's down, great for balance, knee. too. It is good practice for balance. And balance is valuable. Two, out, in, down, knee, down, together. This would down, be a great knee. ski conditioning move. Yeah, yeah. Because that move strengthens those quads, those Amazing, big yeah. muscles. And, and having a thighs. look at those incredible snow-covered peaks out there. Ooh. Can we go 30 seconds? <sighs> We're gonna get real quiet. <laughs> Are you talking to us? <laughs> Here we go. Oop. What if I said we would hold these backward lunges? You mean to get rid of this? Here yeah. It? Here it is. Okay. One leg. What would you say? The if other. I threw up? <laughs> We're gonna have some mutiny switch legs. Woo. Open that mouth. Woo. This is too hard for the nose. One more each leg. This is great. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now keep your legs moving. Whoa, heart rate All time. Right. We're home. We're at the front Ooh. door. Ready, set, count. Keep your legs moving. Whew. And stop. All okay. right. That was great. I can't believe that you wouldn't be between 60 and 85% intensity on this International Dance Exercise Association heart rate chart. <laughs> and if you're not at 60%, don't worry about it. You work as hard as is comfortable to you. How does, uh, how does heart rate, be, is it affected with the, the altitude? We're way up here. Uh, you gotta, yeah, it's harder. You, heart, your yeah. heart has to beat harder to move blood around. Yeah, we thought so, huh? Yeah, you can feel yeah. it. And there's a margin of error of 10 to 20% in any heart rate chart. There's a margin of error and you're even counting your heart rate. Do what you know and watch. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Now Lonnie promised he let go. Whoa. Come on, let, let, go. Go. let go. Let go, let so go. Can you keep that going? He's still a bachelor, right? <laughs> yeah, he's still a bachelor. <laughs> if anybody wants him, write to us. Good luck. Like. <laughs> You're not going to ask for money, are you? No money. We'll give him away free. All right, off you go. Keep dancing. Keep Matter dancing. Fact, we'll pay you. Out, two. One pound of body fat burns only 
two measly calories a day to sustain itself, but a pound of muscle burns 30 to 50 calories a day to stay alive. The more muscle you have, the higher your metabolism and the more calories you burn even as you sleep. Unfortunately, metabolism slows with age due to loss of muscle to the tune of about a half a pound of muscle a year after age 30. If you weight train though, you can preserve muscle and keep your metabolism high to stay lean. I bet hardly a week goes by without hearing someone say that exercise got them through a nasty divorce or the stress of job loss or the depressing loss of a loved one. I hear it all the time. And it's not pie in the sky, it's real. Exercise reduces tension by desensitizing your body to stress. Regular workouts train the body to react less intensely to stress, leaving you better able to cope with anxiety provoking events. It's much better than value. Stretch those quadriceps and you need to bring this pelvic tilt into play to really get a stretch. The Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory did a nice study on 7,000 male runners and found that as their exercise intensity increased and their duration, their mileage increased, so did their benefits increase. Um, the, the harder they worked and the more miles they ran, the better their good HDL cholesterol, the cholesterol that you want a lot of. For example, those guys who are running about nine miles a week, their HDL levels were 49, 48, almost 49, 48.7. The guys who were running um, 60 miles a week, and man, mm. that is a lot 60. of miles. I'd like to do something in between there. Their HDL cholesterol was way up there at 69.1. So it's true that the more you do, the harder you do, the more benefits, but there's a caveat here. You can't do so much that you start to suffer overuse injuries. You know, they're usually musculoskeletal injuries and shin splints. Boy, Jen's been there, haven't you? Oh, yeah, too many times. So, so you just, you, you have to be prudent. You have to listen to your body. I think the take-home message is if you're already active, stay with it. Maybe push a little harder, but, but do it gently. Listen to your body. If you are sedentary, get off that couch <laughs> with us. Ciao. Catch you next time. Bye. Exercise wear by Gilda Marks, the exercise wear with the breathables lining. It figures is produced in association with the Life Network in the splendid grandeur of the Rocky Mountains at the Banff Springs Hotel. If you would like to buy an exercise video, a copy of this show, or one of our cookbooks, call 1-800-MORE-FIT. Viewers requiring an answer from it figures should enclose $3 and a self-addressed stamped envelope. some good news and some bad news. The good news is that researchers may have found a very cheap way to live longer. The bad news is it involves eating less. Yep. The key is caloric restriction. Researchers at the Gerontology the National Institute of Health and Johns Hopkins University have gone on the record to say that dietary caloric restriction is the only intervention conclusively shown to slow aging, delay onset of age-related diseases, maintain function, and extend both median and maximal lifespan in animals. 
Well, this effect has long been observed in insects, worms, protozoans, and other lower animals, but now we have some data on larger animals. The National Institute of Health began a control study of 200 monkeys in 1987. Half of them are eating as much of a nutritious diet as they want, and the other half are getting 30% less of the same diet. Sure enough, the restricted group is aging slower. Tell you more as we build muscle. Laurie and I are here to warm you up on the floor. Dolores is on the bike. We got alternating heels. Well, I like what you say about caloric restriction, but I hope it doesn't mean I have to eat less. Maybe just smarter? <laughs> no, it means less. If you yeah. want to live longer, you may need to cut your caloric intake. Bad news. <laughs> Bad news. Well, I'll get you to monitor my dinner I'll, tonight. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you more about this. It's fascinating. I found it absolutely fascinating. Now, we're going to move this into little fast triple taps with our toes. Three aside. Here we got four more. Three, two, try this. Oh, one, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. Got it? Okay, one more. Four single heels. Four, three, and two sets of triples. One a leg. Other leg. Four singles. Yep. Here we go. Oh, one, two, three, tap. Oh, one, two, three, tap. Stomp and bug. <laughs> My, my high school tap dance teacher would be thrilled. What would we call this, a ball, is, shuffle ball change or something? Well, I always had trouble with those heavy tap shoes. Remember those black ones, real heavy? Oh yeah, with the great big tappers on them, loved them. One, two, three, tap. Let's cut this down, two singles. One tap. Two singles. One tap. You think we're brave enough to add on? Let's do it. Okay, here's what's going to happen. Okay. We're going to add a march, and it's going to be after the next triple tap. All right. And tap one, two, now three, march. step, march. Right. Two. Here comes <laughs> two singles. Single, single, triple tap, step, march. Here they come. We got single, single, a tap, 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 step, march. Again. Single, single, triple, one, two, three, tap, march. Are you warm enough to work? Yes. Last I time, so. single, single, tap, 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 and march. Right. Come on. Come on down. By I mean, pumping some iron. iron. This is what we're working on. All right. Hey, Dolores. Hey. Oh. Okay. We got a little How system. Doing, oh, I saw We're going the to mountains. these guys, the biceps. The Lift up and lower down. Now, Dolores likes to brace her elbow on her hip, and that's just fine. Just so you brace that elbow somewhere, so that it's not, this is not what you'd want, you know, just kind of hanging free like that. It's not real safe. About three more. You're looking good, girl. Thank you. Two more. Up, up. And last up, one, thank up. goodness. <laughs> and down. Oh, more, more. Okay, other side. You want more? <laughs> Dolores, that's wonderful to hear you crying for more. I'm a bluffer. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about these monkeys. So interesting. The monkeys that were calorie restricted are smaller. They mature later. They have lower blood levels of glucose and insulin. They have lower body temperature. They have increased daytime activity. They are possibly uh, aging slower in post-maturational changes. The last, last one has got to be. And done. So they just don't mature as quickly, both in physiological and behavioral sense. Biceps, triceps. We did these guys. Triceps now we got to work on. Dolores and I have elected today to work at two hands like this. Now, I don't care where your feet are. I just want you to mind your abdominal brace so that you don't arch your low back. Lori's working one hand at a time, so she's gonna do 10 on arm. 
her form is perfect. Notice how she has her chest flat to the floor, I mean square to the floor. She's not lifting up. That chest is facing the floor. Okay. I'm going to switch off now. To okay, my and we'll just keep going. Can we surmise uh, that the same thing goes for people as goes for monkey, Charlene? Well, we don't know that. That's a very oh. insightful question, Lori Sheba. That's one of two, the two big questions are, what's the mechanism at work here? How come these monkeys are living longer? And does this work in larger primates, namely us? Is that's got to be 10? No, not quite. 20 seems a lot, doesn't it, Dolores? <laughs> up and up. Two that's more, Lori. It. No. Last one. No, oh. here comes the last one. Up oh. and up and down and down. Wow, that was a stretch. That's wow. great. Hey, and let's just take a stretch right there. Ooh. The triceps always feel so lovely when you stretch them. So, if we... And we don't know that this research is going to work on us, Lori. But if we thought it would, and if we would go by the monkey formula, uh -huh. we would look at reducing our calories by about 30%. That's a lot. 30%? That's a lot. Ooh. Now remember, remember. Uh -oh. This is, these, these studies are so far just in monkeys, so we, <laughs> we can't say that this is what you're cutting out a lot of the junk. Isn't well, it? you would certainly you have to do cut that out shoulder press. Stuff. You wouldn't want to be cutting out your vegetables. You're exactly right. You would want to be cutting out the junk calories. The less you eat, the smarter you must eat. Mm -hmm. The yes. better your nutrition must be, because you have no calories to waste. These primate studies, uh, some are going on at the University of Wisconsin, some at the University of Maryland, and they're all seeing the same results. But there have not been adequate longitudinal studies done yet. It hasn't gone on long enough. Stay tuned, folks. You heard it here first, and we'll keep you updated. <laughs> Last one is done. Ooh. Well, that upper body has kind of had it, hasn't it? Let's move down here. Flies, the chest muscles, the pectorals. Do I want a steam pounder. I would love one. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Um, let's do flies for the chest, the pectoral muscles. I want to see your low back before you even start. Show me. Show me. Abdominal brace. Take those hands way out there. And lift. Ready? Go. Up and up and down and down, up and up. Now, it's just like big butterfly wings, gracefully flapping in the air. Mind your low back. When you bring those hands down, you're so likely to arch your back. Watch it. Counting. Switch. And four more. Last three. How are you doing, kids? I like being called a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Dolores, you're all smiles. You make my day. Oh, you're okay, right me. there. I want you to just bring them down, roll over, and put them away safely. We're working here now. The rotator cuff, and you need but a tiny weight. But a tiny weight. Little spot of glue right there. Glue it right to your hip bone. And there she stays. Here's the movement. It's up and up and down and down. So you don't really come above horizontal. The rotator cuff in your shoulder is really prone to injury when you pitch, uh, say, a ball or lift your arm rapidly in tennis, even in aerobics. And if we keep that rotator cuff strong, you are so much less likely to get injured. And we don't want you to get injured. We want you to be out there playing tennis and swimming and playing baseball with your kids. We did it. That's it. Other side. This is two and a half pounds. I really felt that in there. That's you a lot of weight for those little rotators. They are small. It's a small little mechanism, yeah. And the physios tell me 
up and up. And uh, that even the big guys, you know, they get these big uh, football players and physio. Uh-huh. They don't lift heavy weights. Everybody's rotator cuff is about the same, so they would never have anybody go above three or four pounds, five at the absolute max. So this is a muscle, a, a structure that we want to work for injury prevention. Is it going to be, be big and beautiful and toned? No. No. But it will allow you to pursue your physical activity. What do you think? Did we do them? One more? That's the last one coming yes. up, I think. Up and up and down and down. You cheated. Woo! I think we have done the upper body, kids. I want to work on these uh, abdominals. Now here's what you got to be able to do. This is so important. And it's just mind over matter. You use your transverse abdominal muscle that goes around you like a big cinch belt. See, I'm, I'm in a neutral pelvis here. And I pull my belly down. I pull my navel down. But these guys back here are not doing that work. It's these guys here. So practice. Brace, brace, release, release. Brace, brace, release, release. Okay, now, there are two ways to do this next one. You can keep your leg down to make it easier, or put your leg up to make it harder. You have to brace, you go down, down, up, up. But you're bracing, 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 now you release. Bracing, 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 now you release. So two counts down and two counts up. That looks good, Dolores. I've asked Dolores just to practice the bracing for a few weeks before she adds the leg. That's an option for you too. Okay, finish the other leg. 10 on that leg too. See you back. Down, down, switch leg, Lori. Most heart attacks are due to a buildup of fatty deposits or plaque inside coronary arteries. And it's at these plaque deposits where blood clots are likely to stick and completely cut off the blood supply. The best way to avoid that scenario is eat low fat food and exercise. For every 1% you lower your total blood cholesterol through better food choices, exercise or cholesterol lowering drugs, your risk of heart attack declines two to three percent. Adult humans can have up to 600 billion fat cells and they're very elastic. If you burn up all the calories you eat in a day, your fat cells swell and shrink as fat is stored and then released for burning. If you eat more than you use, your cells enlarge to accommodate the excess. If your body fat content rises to about 30 kilograms, your body will manufacture new fat cells to absorb the extra. The trick to weight loss is burning up more calories than you eat. We're going to do eccentric curls, or as Dolores says, eccentric curls. Well, it's my body. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to start by abdominal bracing. Hold that brace, roll back, two, three, use your hands, no work here, concentric, no work. And it's eccentric, back and back and back and up. Now, if you really abdominal brace real hard here, you can get a smooth ride down. You have to brace with all your heart. Back, two, three, four. I am pulling in with my belly for all I'm worth. Well, that's why it's so oh. eccentric. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, you guys are incorrigible. Nothing is sacred to these two gals. No, we have a little fun back here, don't we, Dolores? <laughs> you and call it what eccentric you want. Eccentric curls, that's what they did. I saw it on it figures, those eccentric curls. Yep. And brace, brace, brace. That's it, couple more. And pull your belly. Pull, pull, pull. The stronger you get, the better you can roll down real smooth, Promise. almost articulating Promise. each little vertebra. Here we go. Last one. Pull, pull. Stay down, stay down right there. Reverse curl. Now, just get these legs tight. 
so they're not going to help you. You're going to have none of this business. You're going to use your belly muscles to lift your tailbone up. Up and up and down and down. Think of a wasp or a bee and how it moves its little stinger down there. That's it. Good. You know, a lot harder than it looks. It sure is. And if you, this is feeling real easy to you, I can guarantee you're doing it wrong. Uh-oh. Because <laughs> you really do have to use, you're recruiting the abdominal fibers from the bottom up, which is the best. But it's harder. Last one. And done. Okay. Throw on some ankle weights. Let me show you what I'd like you to do in the break. We're going to work these quads, big, big muscle group, capable of tremendous power. If you don't mind being upside down, I'm going to ask you to do the inverted V. Looks like this, up, up, and down, and down. See, I'm taking my body weight plus the weight of the ankle weight, and all I want you to be careful of is right there you don't lock your leg. Do 10 a leg. No cheating, no three. Up, up, down, down. The Quebec Family Study at Laval University has found that genetics do play a role in your body fat, but not a very strong influence. Only 25% of individual difference in body fat throughout the population is genetic. That means you can only blame your parents for a quarter of your fat. Genes strongly determine where fat is stored, but genes are not very influential in the amount of fat stored. Your physical activity or lack of it and your food choices determine your fatness. Have you heard about the new approach to abdominal training? In the past, we did exercises which challenged the abdominal muscles as prime movers. They make the movement. But the abs actually spend more of their time acting as trunk stabilizers. So now we're also doing work that challenges them to be better stabilizers. This may be the answer to that stubborn little pot belly that annoys even some fairly lean people. Outside thigh, get yourself in a clam position. 90 degrees, 90 degrees. And doesn't that look like a clam? Okay, lift up. If anything, lower your foot a little bit. But what you don't want is this. You don't want your foot higher than your knee. Okay, we count. Here's one. You know, the researchers who are looking at this caloric restriction have found that Many, many centurions, people who live, you know, way up there in years, are lean, quite lean and small in stature. It leads the researchers to wonder if at some time in their lives they experience a period of caloric restriction. And this caloric restriction seems to be unique in this aspect that it uh, reduces age-related diseases. Last one. Good. And we did outside thigh, we're gonna do inside thigh. Get rid of that top leg and lift. Up and up. Now, I want you to just have a look at Dolores' position. This is how she likes to work her inside thigh. And it's just fine. You see how I've got my leg curled up here in front to just get rid of this stationary leg. Well, she just lifts that stationary leg up on a step, and then she's free to lift the lever, and she really likes that. And you might like that one, too, so that's always an option for you. Lift up and up. Woo! One more. Up and up. And down and down, okay. Outside side, other side. You got a clam coming at you. So do you think there's a percentage calorie restriction? Well, in no, we, we should be no one knows. At? No one knows. We just know that on the in the monkeys, yeah, <laughs> the researchers picked thirty percent. I mean, we, you know, I think our kids will know, but they've got to wait and they've got to see what happens to these little monkeys. That, that, that question is probably a decade or so away from being answered, Laurie.
Well, stay tuned. Well, stay tuned. That's Charlie what I'm saying. Charlie wanted that answer we'll before keep up anyone with else. Story. But another interesting thing, here's the last one, guys. This caloric restriction lowers the vulnerability uh, to environmental insult. I mean, that's just in that's incredible, really. Okay, inside side. Now, Dolores, you want to turn around? We lift up and up and down and down. So all these positions available to you. Now I've got my stationary leg behind my working leg. Lori's got hers in front, as I did before. <laughs> Dolores is embracing her step back there. <laughs> you pick your poison, the positions that suit you best. And down and down. How many more of these do we know? Up Two more. And up. <laughs> yes, we're counting. <laughs> Got to be the last one here. And done. Ooh. Okay, guys, we need you to stand up and get ready to do standing hamstrings. Hit them when we get back. Cholesterol and saturated fat are not the same thing. Cholesterol is found only in animals. Plants can't make cholesterol because they don't have a liver. Eating high cholesterol foods is not a problem for most people. Your liver will just cut back on its production of cholesterol to compensate. But eating saturated fat is a problem. It stimulates your body to overproduce cholesterol. So a no cholesterol label on a food made with saturated palm oil is very misleading. You don't have to work up a sweat to get fit, but you do need to work up your heart rate. Aerobic exercise is any sustained physical activity that produces heavy breathing and high heart rate. And now I know what you're thinking, and the answer is yes. If you can keep it going for 15 to 20 minutes, it's got to qualify as aerobic. Regular aerobic exercise conditions your heart and keeps your body fat under control. It moderates your reaction to stress and increases your stamina. Such a deal. Now there's lots of work going on here. You need to hold at least a neutral pelvis and you've got to abdominal brace to do that. The hamstring lifts your heel to your butt. Here we go, count number one. And don't let go of this, this abdominal brace. You know, researchers know darn well that it's pretty hard to get people to cut calories. I mean, it's it's, it's just probably not going to happen because it's so difficult for folks. So they're trying a pharmacological approach. They're trying to put something in a pill that will help us reduce our appetite, uh, or at least figure out this mechanism. Here's the last one. So that whatever is going on to make these starving monkeys live longer, we can enjoy it through a pill. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> we may be dead and gone before that pill's ready. <laughs> Just push away from the table and preferably before dessert. That's You'll... a good one to try at home in the meantime. <laughs> That's right. Until the pill comes out. Lift up. Oh, hamstrings. Don't fail me now. How many? Two more. Oh. Only two? I think you fib. One more, come on. Oh, okay, one more. Oh, and down and done. And look, you didn't lose that pelvic tilt. Good. Okay, we get to stretch all those guys. Here you go. You got one leg out there. You can just lean over your other leg. Oh, yes. If you don't feel the stretch yet, pull up your toes so you can reach them. The thing that I just want to make sure is that your upper body is braced, that you're not hanging out there just by the mercy of your little erector spiny muscles. And I kind of do need to pull up those toes to feel that hamstring stretch in the back there. Try the other side. Well, you know, the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn even at rest. Exercise wear by Gilda Marks, the exercise wear with the breathables lining. It figures is produced in association with the Life Network in the splendid grandeur of the Rocky Mountains at the Banff Springs Hotel. Down here, like this. Remember this one, Dolores? Yes, I'm just getting into position. 
intuition here. Okay, that's it. Oh. Just really lean back, lean back in. Right. Yeah, there you go. There you it go. Hurts. You got it. I got it. If you would like to buy an exercise video, a copy of this show, or one of our cookbooks, call 1-800-MORE-FIT. Viewers requiring an answer from it figures should enclose $3 and a self-addressed stamped envelope. The preference for sweets is innate in humans. Ever tasted breast milk? It's sweet. But the preference for fat is probably shaped by social factors rather than genetics. Craving sugar may be preferable to craving fat since fat contains twice the calories. The problem is that most sweets are high in fat too. So you're in trouble if your sweet tooth is really a fat tooth. Research shows obese people prefer high-fat foods, but take heart, it is possible to retrain your taste buds. I was raised in the deep south on fried foods, and I did it. Experts at the Monell Chemical Census Center say if you become unaccustomed to fat, the taste and feel, the texture of it, become unappealing. The Monell studies show that the best way to overcome your love of fat is avoid or minimize obvious sources of fat, reduce fat to 20% of your total calories, and avoid low-fat foods that mimic the taste and feel of the full-fat counterpart. If you'll step right up here, I'll tell you more. Would you hurry and stand up? It's a little nippy out here, and we're especially eager to warm up. We're oh, ready to yeah. go. Let's, <laughs> big warm up. Start climbing these little mountains There'll here. There'll be no sweat, no sweat today, I can assure you. We're gonna do three marches and one squat on spot. Here's three, two, one, squat. Again, three, two, one. Here's your squat, and three, two, one, adding on next time. Three, two, one, and squat, great fine. And come on back, and here's your march. Three, two, one, and squat, great fine. Now we travel that march. Three, two, one, squat, great fine this way. And come I back. little icicles in my kneecaps are starting to melt. <laughs> Three, two, one, and grapevine. So Jennifer. Yes, ma'am. Is this better than a hot environment? I believe it is. I'm I much do more too. motivated to move in the cold. If I had you know? to take my choice between just a little too cold and a little too hot, I definitely take too cold. Too cold. March. Well, you got it today. How's that baby doing? Excellent. Glad it's insulated. <laughs> <laughs> Five months in, she is. Hup. First baby. Carrie is uh, radiant. And grapevine. Watch this grapevine next time. Three, two, one. You're on the floor. I put it up. Travel this squat. Travel this squat. <laughs> travel this march. You try traveling a squat. See how that e easy that is. The brain is not working this morning. One more time. Travel and squat. Hold these grapevines. Are you warm up? Are you standing outside on the patio with the television? in the window. That's what I've done before. Four of these. Here's three. Here's two. Now hold up, touch, down, touch right here. Yep. Watch what happens to the heel on the step. It becomes a heel tap. A heel tap. Four, three. Hold this last one right there. Good. 
Now weight bear, this is the muscle group stretching these big hamstrings. And brace yourself on the floor leg. Boy, we just need a little wake up call to those muscles, nothing intense. And the big gastrocnemius in your calf down here. You know, uh, studies on salt reduction show that for high salt users, pelvic tilt now, put a little stretch on your hip flexors. High salt users, when they have to give up their salt, at first they seem to think that food is very bland. And it just takes a few weeks before they cease to crave it and actually then prefer less salty foods. Here you go. Oh. Sorry, right in here. That hamstring stretch here. It's on this fine. Is, are you okay? Oh, I was just a little, just a little wake just up. Just a moan. moan. <laughs> well, listen, take inspiration. I mean, yes, man, if you cannot be inspired in this environment, mm -hmm. truly, we got you a know, problem. I would have a, a problem living away from the Rockies. I'm, oh, I am Jen. so yeah. attached to them. Good. Really, I yeah. miss them when I'm not here. They bring me a lot of pleasure too. Yeah. The hiking that my family enjoys in these mountains it is just uh, superb. Just you must come. come. You must yeah. come and hike with us. <laughs> okay, you stretched. Ready to work? Yeah. Oh yes. Please. Okay. <laughs> Semi on thought anyway. <laughs> Let's put it on the step. When it gets up there, we call it basic. If you reach a, reach a point of frustration, you can always go back to basic, keep your heart rate up. This Two swinging basic. move is really popular for skiing, you know? Get the circulation yeah. to your fingertips. <laughs> Two basics, tap after the second one to change your lead. Here's the first. Another, now tap on the floor and change your lead leg. And travel to the other end. Here's tap. Here's tap, adding on. At this end, two, up tap, down tap, two, up tap, down tap again. And here's those basics. That's it. So far, so good. Yep. Now watch. I'm gonna make a little change here. I'm gonna take them off the end. Both of them. You do it next time. Here's the tap. And then up tap, down tap. And so you pick up this basic from the side. Got it? Okay. I Can got I it. make a little change? Sure. No. <laughs> you do two up taps. I march one, two. So you have one up tap, down tap, and then march from your tapping leg. That's it. Two basics. Will it help if I count it? It is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go. And it's up tap, down tap. And march. One, two. I think you got it. And tap. Up tap, down tap, march. March. Can I make another change? Have a look, see. I go. Pivot. Pivot. Ooh, there you go. Get a good look at the mountains there, guys. And yes, that's perfect. it. Just want to see what's happening around here. Pivot. Pivot. Oh, you pick up your golf basic. course back there. Are you okay to do that? Yeah. You're not getting dizzy on us? Nope, not too bad. Okay. How has it been, Terry? Great. Excellent. <laughs> no sickness? Not too bad. Good. Terry. <laughs> Terry decided to make all the changes in her life in a two-month period. She moved from the city to the farm. Yep. She got married. She got pregnant. Let's see, what else did you do? Oh. When this girl goes for it, she goes for it. I think it. those are two of the most uh, drastic uh, major moves in your life. She has a honeymoon baby. Moved out of the city? Isn't that yep. another move? Up, tap, yep. down, tap. Pivot, pivot. Okay, here's your last time. Up, tap, down, tap, and pivot, and pivot. Hold this basic, moving on, moving on. You're gonna give me one basic, one knee. Four, three, two, one. Give me that basic. Here's the first knee. Now a basic, now a knee. Got it? Now that's gonna change to two basics, 
and two knees. Here's two basics. Moving to the end, here's two knees, up knee, down tap. And now up knee, walk, 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 walk. There we are. First knee has a tap at the end. Next knee has a walk, walk. That's it. Okay. I go off the end. I come back. With me. Join me. Here we go. Off the end. Yep. And now back, back. That's it. Now watch what happens. And bum off. Wow. In other right. words, you just up. slip that right free foot down the step. That's a stretch. It is a stretch. <laughs> watch the hands. Po, po. Here they come. Use opposite hand and knee. Po. You know, I may be shedding this oh, jacket. That feels good. And punch, and punch, and punch, yes. Can you perfect it? Okay, play with it, see back. Hoo. Fatal heart attacks occur between 6 a.m. and noon, not because of morning exercise, but because of morning. The blood platelets responsible for clotting are stickiest in the morning. Regular exercise at any time of day reduces the risk of heart attack. Thousands of North Americans die each year from inactivity, so don't be afraid to work out in the morning if that's the best time for you. The trick is to be regular with exercise. Time of day doesn't really matter. Your body loses two to three quarts of fluid daily just through perspiration, exhalation, and excretion. Now that fluid must be replaced or your major systems begin to break down. The rule of thumb is drink eight, eight ounce glasses of water daily, and that's just your minimum because as temperature and exercise increase, you need still more. If you're not drinking enough water, your urine will be quite yellow. Clear urine signals good hydration. Canada, we're still eating too much fat. A gram of fat is nine calories, compared with only four calories per gram for carbohydrate or protein. Though monounsaturated fats are more heart healthy than other fats, all fat is equally fattening, so the goal is to cut down on all fats. Excess dietary fat contributes to excess body fat, and that brings health problems in and of itself. Try to get your fat intake down to 20 to 30% of your total daily calories. If you're stuck on a fat loss plateau and are already doing some sort of vigorous exercise, try adding a walk after supper. Moderate exercise, like walking, doesn't compete with digestion right after a meal. It feels fine and it aids digestion and it reduces fat storage on your body. Fats entering the bloodstream from digestion can be used as fuel so they don't get deposited in your fat cells. Okay, come on back to basic right here in the center. We're going to do a U-turn right here in the middle of the street. I need you to give me one knee and one basic. I'm counting you to it. We got four, three, two, one. Here's the knee. Here's the basic. That's it. The knee. Now put the knee on the corner, the basic in the middle, and here's the count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to change the five, six, seven, eight, the basic. Do what you know. I stay on the floor. You stay on the floor. Five, six, seven, eight. That's it. We're gonna have fun with this one. <laughs> we almost got Jen sick last night doing this. Do what you know. Have a look, see. Have a look, see. So, walk around your step where you were marching on the floor. Stay facing your step. Now that's as far as Terry's gonna take it. We decided pregnancy was not a good time to do oh. this. Oh. No. Oh. So, 
This is sort of that perfect feeling. Get out feeling. of turn. And turn, turn. I didn't want my morning sickness. Does it feel okay? <laughs> Are you all right, Jen? I'm great. <laughs> now try this. Have a look, see. And step it out on the step. Don't twirl. Don't try to pivot up on the step, but just step out your turn. Up knee, up, up, down, down. You guys look great. <laughs> I love this one. We get into the mountain. Woo. Here's the last two. Here's the last one. Hold this pattern behind the step. Here's your knee and your basic. That's it. Okay, basics are gone. Alternating knees, corner to corner. You know the uh, number of North Americans eating low-cal and sugar-free and fat-free foods and beverages is growing. But interestingly, so is the national waistline growing too. <laughs> Those that can't be related. Wrong. <laughs> You're gonna take. For these knees, you notice we have an up knee walk walk. Well, after the fourth one, there's no walk walk. It's a down tap, and you cross right over the step. Okay, trust me. Here's four. Here's three. Now, after this next one, down tap, down tap, cross over, cross over. There's so four. <laughs> Here's three. Okay, here's your first knee. You know, the uh, director of Baylor's Nutrition Two. Research Clinic, tap, oh, now tap. here's your tap there down, cross over, says that uh, at the end of the day, your nutritional needs and your caloric yes. needs have to balance. So you really have to use these low fat, non fat here products. Is. Here's a tap in moderation. You sit down and eat an entire non-fat cake. <laughs> Ooh, Here's your knee. Nice. Uh, you're kind of defeating the purpose. Aww. Lots of sugar so where calories. Do we go? Here's your tap yeah. and cross. So they are to substitute for the fat version. Here's yeah. your knees. They're not to uh, say, oh, this is like lettuce. Two, I think I'll eat the whole one. thing. And tap down, cross over. Hey, yeah. could we, we could cut this in half. Here we go. Take this knee, now tap, and cross. Oh. Only two crosses, you got it? <laughs> got it, got Here's it. your knee, so we cut in half. Here's your knee with a tap, cross over twice. Yeah, can you keep her going? You bet. Well, we'll take it somewhere when you get back. Here's your knee with a tap, cross over. And here's your knee. The common question I hear is, how do I get rid of the fat on my thighs, or belly, or hips? No matter where you store your excess fat, to lose it, you must expend more calories than you take in. So reduce your caloric intake by eating less fat and simple sugar. To increase your caloric output, do regular aerobic exercise like walking or step aerobics, and weight train to build more muscle. The more muscle you have, the more calories you burn all day long, even at rest. Jean-Pierre Dupre is a blood fat specialist at Laval University. He says fat just under the skin is only a beauty concern. It's excess fat deep in the abdomen, under the muscle, between the internal organs that's a threat to life. Measure the circumference of the smallest part of your waist and the widest part of your buttocks. Divide your waist by your hip measurement. If the ratio is 0.8 or above for women, 9.5 or above for men, you need to reduce your fat. If a high heart rate during exercise is good for you, why is a high heart rate at rest bad? Well, regular high heart rate exercise, aerobic exercise, strengthens the heart and makes the body more efficient at delivering oxygen through the blood to the rest of the body. Indeed, one of the long-term effects of regular aerobic exercise is a lower resting heart rate, and that benefit far outweighs any risk of a temporary increase in heart rate during exercise. 
Metabolism is the body's process of breaking down and converting food to usable energy to power life functions like respiration. Resting metabolism is the minimum energy required to sustain life at rest. The higher your resting metabolism, the easier it is to stay lean. So how do you increase your resting metabolism? Pump iron to make muscle. The more muscle you have, the higher your resting metabolism rate. And here's your tap down. Crossover, were you with us? Here's your knees. And here's your knee tap down, crossover. Now, on this next knee, I'm gonna change it to a soccer kick. Crossover. Here, soccer kick. Other end, soccer. My guys would be good tap at this. down, yeah, your little guys would love it. They were soccer kings. Here we go, soccer kick. With a tap down with and two crossovers. The ball, they're soccer kicks. <laughs> Last <laughs> time. And soccer kick, tap down, crossover. Give me basic. Now, we want a basic on each leg, so you're going to have to tap and change every single time. Four, three, two, one, and up, up, down, tap. Up, up, down, tap. That's it. Can you move it along the step? Oh, Hands. I feel big moves coming on here. <laughs> Progression. Okay. Adding on. Up, tap, down, tap. Times two. That's it. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. Looking all right? Let's try just one up touch. Oh, you want to? Yeah, let's try Add next time. Down. Okay. Just one? Yeah, just one. one. It's, it's still an eight count. Um, how about a curb step? Have you seen Ooh. one of those? That'd be Actually, fun. Why don't you show them first? Gen okay, Jennifer brought this into our lives. <laughs> and no. I, I said to her, I think you've shoveled a little too much snow. Question. <laughs> shovel, shovel, <sighs> shovel, shovel. Now, Jennifer, or Jen Air, as we call her, <laughs> get it going for us, girl. Okay, I just got to rev up my waters here. <laughs> and woo, woo. Here we go. Just to get your heart rate turn up yet? I'm not so sure you should fly that across. I don't think I'm flying. You stay on the ground, girl. You'll have so. your turn. <laughs> up, up, down, touch, dig, dig. Up, up, down, touch, dig, dig. That's it. Ah, ah. Oh, I dread the shoveling. <laughs> this is good prep work. I may. I may buy one of those snow blowers this year. <laughs> I love the beauty. I love the crunch. I love the color. I and hate the work. Else to do the shoveling. <laughs> Last time. Just give me basic. Okay. Ooh. Find the heart rate. May have to take the mitts off here. Woo. This is a good time. Keep your legs moving. Ready, set, count. Legs moving. Don't sit down. Giving you a 10 second count. Stop. Okay. Have a Enough look at me. the standing. See where you fell. Hope you're somewhere between the range between 60 and 85 percent intensity. Come back here and give me basic. Put it on the step. Okay, you're going to do a basic and two quick squats, get off. Let me show you what it looks like. It's up and up and up, get off and do it again. And up and squat and squat and do it again. Now, can I show you a little change? You do what you know, it'll take two cycles. I squat right. and hick up, get off, up, squat, hick up, okay, get off, go. up, hick up. So that changes your lead. Your hiccup is the opposite leg that took you up. And got it. See you back. Up, squat, hip, up. One 
one pound of body fat burns only two measly calories a day to sustain itself, but a pound of muscle burns 30 to 50 calories a day to stay alive. The more muscle you have, the higher your metabolism and the more calories you burn even as you sleep. Unfortunately, metabolism slows with age due to loss of muscle to the tune of about a half a pound of muscle a year after age 30. If you weight train though, you can preserve muscle and keep your metabolism high to stay lean. I bet hardly a week goes by without hearing someone say that exercise got them through a nasty divorce or the stress of job loss or the depressing loss of a loved one. I hear it all the time. And it's not pie in the sky, it's real. Exercise reduces tension by desensitizing your body to stress. Regular workouts train the body to react less intensely to stress, leaving you better able to cope with anxiety provoking events. It's much better than balance. Here you come down on your quadriceps stretch. Lots of ways to do this stretch. The main thing is to pelvic tilt in whichever position you've chosen so you really feel that. You know, we are all born with this preference for sweet taste and an aversion to bitterness. And our preference for food, you know, whether you like Indian food or fried food or uh, hot food, that's all sort of social, that's environmental. Uh, let's try the other side. But Yale University has done some fascinating research on the number of taste buds. There are some people who have 1,100 taste buds per square centimeter, yeah, and those are called me. super tasters. That's wow. me. <laughs> and what they do typically well, right now. tend to be women, often women, they're very sensitive to sweets and, and sours. And then they're sort of non-tasters, and instead of 1,100 taste buds per square centimeter, they have 11. <laughs> and those are the guys who eh, kind of don't care, you know, they don't really taste. Well, that sounds like my husband. Most of us <laughs> fall somewhere in between. Um, I just thought that was fascinating. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, a, amazing. that's a remarkable difference. Those little hamstrings feeling tight. That I sure know. explains a lot of people's different tastes for yeah, things, you know. Yeah, I know, doesn't it? And, and there are some people, you know, who are just so sensitive to taste, they can eat something and they know it immediately. Oh, that's got a little nutmeg in it, or that's got a little this or that, and I'm just going, what? How did you know that? They're what about babies that can taste when it's not in their mouth? Can they? What do you know? Do you, what I do you don't know? know. You need to look into that research of oh, well, taste buds uh, outside the baby's mouth. <laughs> oh, I've not heard. Jen, are you in drugs? <laughs> no, I have too many taste buds and they're all working right now. <laughs> oh, listen, we worked hard. Go make it a nice day. Exercise wear by Gilda Marks. The exercise wear with the breathables lining. It figures is produced in association with the Life Network in the splendid grandeur of the Rocky Mountains at the Bamp Springs Hotel. If you would like to buy an exercise video, a copy of this show, or one of our cookbooks, call 1-800-MORE-FIT. Viewers requiring an answer from It Figures should enclose $3 and a self-addressed stamped envelope. Are you taking antioxidant vitamins? Let me tell you the rationale behind them. A free radical is a highly reactive atom or molecule carrying an unpaired electron, and it seeks to combine with another molecule which it damages. It can damage our basic genetic material, cell walls, and other cell structures, and over time that damage may be irreparable and lead to disease. 
Most of these free radicals are just byproducts of our normal processes, like oxidation, which takes place at our cellular level. It's sort of like rust, just from breathing. But free radicals are also created by environmental insults, like tobacco smoke and radiation. Antioxidant vitamins are thought to help mop up free radicals before they do their damage. The most commonly recommended antioxidants are vitamins A, that's beta carotene, C, and E. Now, even the most gung-ho researcher concedes antioxidant supplements do not substitute for a healthy diet. I'll tell you more as we build our muscle. Today, we're really gonna work these belly muscles, but first, we have to warm you up. So give me little side touches. That's it, come on. Now if you wanna hop on your stationary bicycle or, or jump rope or run around the house, that's okay. We just need blood flow. We're gonna change this to three taps on one side and then step touch to that same side. In four, three, here comes three taps. Three, two, one, and just slide across. Three, two, one and slide, that's it. All right, we can add a knee. Watch it, here it comes. Out knee, out knee, out knee slide. Out knee, out knee, out knee slide. Good, now you can add a little leap or you can just stay with a simple step touch. That's it. Well, this is gonna work as a warm up, I think. <laughs> We don't really need anything but a little respiration and a little circulation. Okay, next thing, we're gonna make it one tap to the side. Here it is, one and slide, one and slide, slide. Okay, Renee, now we'll just quickly get you breathing a little harder. We're gonna leave out the tap. Slide, slide, Whoa. slide, slide. I'm breathing hard now. Just give me eight more. Eight, seven, six, four, three. Are we ready? Abs are right. ready. Ready to go. Here we go. Yeah, we're already getting a little breath. Let's come right on down here. First thing, let's check out your abdominal brace. Looks like this. You pull your navel right down to your spine. I mean, that's your imagery. Now, these big glutes back here don't do it. The work is coming from here, and it's largely your transverse abdominal muscle, which goes around you like a big cinch belt. So to practice that with me, brace, brace, release. Brace, brace, release. One more. Well done. All right, now, with one foot down for safety, use that brace against the challenge of moving legs, which make it harder to hold your brace. So, we go down, down, up. Again, have a look. Brace, 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 release. Try the other leg. And we go. Brace, brace, brace. Try it once more. Brace. Brace, brace, release. All right, now try it with both legs up and see if you can hold your brace flat on the back so that your back is right touching the floor. All right, here we go. And it's down, two, up. Try again. Down, two, switch legs and try it. Down, two, up. Last time, down, two, and up. All right, now you have a sense of whether you need to have that foot down to help you hold your brace. Now we're gonna do this. We're gonna go up and down fairly quickly for a count of eight. And truly, if you lose your brace, if your back comes off the floor through any of this progression, please put that leg down to give you a little help. You'll get there one day. These, these muscles come on quickly, they get strong. Here we go. Down, up, three, four, five, six, seven, switch legs. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. Take a rest. How are you? Makes a difference, it does it, not having that brace Yes, down. it really does. And if at any time you start to feel your back arch, you're welcome to put that leg down. Let's try that again. Ready and down, two, three, four, five, six. Try the other leg, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Now, here's a harder one. Try it first with your leg down. You're gonna go down, out, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you see what happens when your leg gets longer, when the lever is longer, it's more challenged to hold this brace. So you may, even though you did the last one with the leg up, you may need the leg down on this one. We'll try it that way first. Here we go. Down, push, three, four, go on, five, six, seven, and eight. Try the other leg. The support is down for a little help. And here we go. It's down, out, three, four, again, five, six, seven, and eight. Dare we try it with the leg Oh, up? let's do it. Here's your measuring stick. If you want to know if your thighs are vertical, and that's how we'd like it to be if you're going to have your legs up, if you flex your wrist and put it just above your knees, for most people, that'll be a, a measure of vertical on your thighs. Unless, of course, you have very and long arms. That, that's why I said most people. <laughs> some people have extraordinarily short or long arms, so for the most people, it works. Okay, you're going to grab your brace. I'm in neutral, but just as my leg starts to go down, I'm going to press that back flat on the floor. Okay, eight counts. So here we go. It's one, two, three, four. Again, here's five, six, seven. Take a rest. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, other leg, and ready, go. Brace, 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 go again. Think about your belly, and now you can relax. It's going to get harder. You may or may not want to go on to this next one, which is substantially harder. Try it with your leg down, and then you can decide whether you want to go back to the previous one. It is here down, straighten, just a few degrees of abduction. So you take your leg out and back, just a little bit, bring it back and up. So in rhythm, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, Not too five, far. six, seven, eight. Because we've got our leg here helping us. And also, Renee and I worked on this. Remember when we first started? It took it, us a while. It took us about a month and a half to really get good at this one. Yes, Here's what happened. have been practicing. Oh, yeah, we have. And when you take your leg out from the center line, if you're not strong, your pelvis kind of wobbles around. So don't let that happen. Here we go. And it. Down, out, away, and back, away, and back. And start again. Down, out. Three, four, five, six, seven. Take a rest. Want to switch legs? Please. Okay. Try that with the other leg. Here we go. Down, out. Abduct and back. Abduct and back and up. Try it again. And ready, go. One, two, three, Four, keep your toes to the ceiling. Seven and eight. Okay, now the big guns. <laughs> you can do that with us now as your leg down. That's the best way to do it if you haven't been doing these for a while. Or you can go back to this one without the abduction. Or you can just go down and up for eight counts. Pick the one that suits your level of strength best. All right. Here we go, and down, out, abduct, and in, abduct, and in, back, take a rest. Try the other leg, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, hold six, your breath. seven, <laughs> eight. Isn't it tempting to hold your breath? Cause it's so darn hard. Can we try a couple more? Okay, ready, go. One, two, three, Three, four, five, six, 
four, five, six, seven. Other leg. One, two, brace, 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 brace. Now you can release. Take a rest, let's do two more. Anytime you bring your leg back up, you can let go back here. You can come back to a neutral pelvis. Try two more with me. All right, ready, go. Think about your pelvis. Don't worry so much about your legs. The ballpark action is in your belly. Take a rest. Other leg, ready, go. Down, shove it out. Abduct and back. Abduct and back and in and done. Well, <laughs> if you found that darn hard, let me tell you, it is. And you must not be dismayed. Back extensions like this. Or if you're stronger, put your hands here and add a little bit more weight to your upper body. I will give you 10 good reps, put your weights on, we'll come back to do standing hamstrings. Most heart attacks are due to a buildup of fatty deposits or plaque inside coronary arteries. And it's at these plaque deposits where blood clots are likely to stick and completely cut off the blood supply. The best way to avoid that scenario is eat low fat food and exercise. For every 1% you lower your total blood cholesterol through better food choices, exercise or cholesterol lowering drugs, your risk of heart attack declines two to three percent. Adult humans can have up to 600 billion fat cells and they're very elastic. If you burn up all the calories you eat in a day, your fat cells swell and shrink as fat is stored and then released for burning. If you eat more than you use, your cells enlarge to accommodate the excess. If your body fat content rises to about 30 kilograms, your body will manufacture new fat cells to absorb the extra. The trick to weight loss is burning up more calories than you eat. Okay, let's see your best brace. You're just not going to get away from that brace. Because if you don't have it, after the last couple of reps, you'll start to lose it and arch your back. So show me. That looks good. Now, try and hold it there. Here we go. And it's up and up and down and down. Now, you know how your mom always said, eat from a rainbow of colors on your plate, fruits and vegetables, and Canada's eat. food rule. That's right, and that's how you get your antioxidants if you'll eat a lot of colors. She did not mean gummy bears and jelly beans. <laughs> this is a great Actually, joke. Actually, that's what came to my mind as you said a rainbow of that's colors. That's a great joke I just to had the those teenagers. new M&Ms with blue and purple. Oh, are they great? <laughs> they are so good, oh, especially the ones with the peanuts. They're great. Oh, I don't oh. want to know. <laughs> Aren't we talking rainbows here? Other side, other side. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that side. Oh, oh, Show oh. me that brace. Other leg. Up and up. These are very down, effective hamstring down. curls. Yeah, they are. Tell you. With a good weight, we, we use about six pounds. We had to work up to it. We didn't, we weren't born this way. <laughs> yeah, it is good. You just need to stabilize that pelvis with your brace. You know, you could use that brace all day long. That's the point. Maybe That's you the can. job. <laughs> All the day long, Renee. <laughs> and the obliques. That's what they do most of the day is stabilize your pelvis. So if we can get them extra strong in our workout, when you're last one, <laughs> that when you're dead. sitting or standing, you're less likely to oh. be like this ah. and more likely to have a neutral pelvis. Okay, leg extensions. Let's talk about antioxidants here. Even if you eat a good nutritious diet, it's just leg extension, that's all it is. You may want to consider antioxidant supplements, antioxidant vitamins. C, uh, generally, A, C, and E are recommended, and C and E are thought to protect against many cancers. E may reduce the risk of heart disease by reducing plaque in the arteries. C and E may protect against cataracts. Now, that would be a switch. That'd oh, be a that's switch. 10? Are you complaining? 
an All right. absolute No, it's rush. one more. I one know more. there's one more Jennifer, here. You. She was fibbing. <laughs> Other side. Well, I knew she'd do extra. So I had to <laughs> you wear were early. Waiting. Come on. You know that good, strong, uh, active muscle fibers are one of the best ways to control weight and and prevent osteoporosis. Do I have to get on my soapbox? Mm, no, and, please don't. And convince <laughs> you to do these chin <laughs> Um, though, though these vitamins do seem to have some protective effect against, um, I do believe we're doing that. Okay. See, we'll I didn't do, warn we'll her early loose. enough. <laughs> the, the studies that are done are somewhat controversial. Let's get down here and do these glutes. Up and up and down. Yes, I when, really want to hear about When these. they look at studies where people have taken antioxidant vitamins, the um, results are conflicting. But when they look at studies where people eat foods, that are rich in antioxidants, the studies are not conflicting. So we know for sure that eating foods that have antioxidants in them is a good thing to do. We're not quite so sure about the supplementation. Last uh, one. I'm sure that was 10. And done. Other side, are you ready? A lift, up and You up. know, the, the thing that would concern me when you start adding antioxidants is that you have to make sure not only that your food intake is very balanced but also that if you add those supplements that it is very balanced because one can counteract the other it's if not true. balanced. That's, that's why food always works better than supplementation. Yeah. Pills are never a substitute for good food because a lot of nutrients have synergy. You have to have one in balance with the, the other to use the one. We're done. I do believe we're done. Done those. Mm. Done those. Been there. Done that. Okay. Take your weights off, and we'll oh, get good. you started good. on biceps. So I think Renee and I have a, a similar approach, Renee. What well, I'm there's doing. There's no one who eats more veggies than we, right? No. <laughs> and fruits. But we're both still taking the antioxidant vitamins. Oh, 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 oh. We're taking them in you. recommended dosages. They're cheap. What do you got to lose? They are uh, cheap. Okay. You need 10 reps an arm. See you back. The Quebec Family Study at Laval University has found that genetics do play a role in your body fat, but not a very strong influence. Only 25% of individual difference in body fat throughout the population is genetic. That means you can only blame your parents for a quarter of your fat. Genes strongly determine where fat is stored, but genes are not very influential in the amount of fat stored. Your physical activity or lack of it and your food choices determine your fatness. Have you heard about the new approach to abdominal training? In the past, we did exercises which challenged the abdominal muscles as prime movers. They make the movement. But the abs actually spend more of their time acting as trunk stabilizers. So now we're also doing work that challenges them to be better stabilizers. This may be the answer to that stubborn little pot belly that annoys even some fairly lean people. This position means tricep kickbacks. You just extend and bring it back. Okay, gonna do 10, then ready, work. Out, Okay, so out. I already did one, so I only have to do <laughs> That's nine. That's what I figured too. <laughs> that was a demo. <laughs> um, the sad part is that while we're consuming more sugar and tons more, um, three <laughs> items. We're not increasing our intake of fruits and veg. And every single health authority that puts out information suggests that That's we ten. increase. We need about five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Ready? Kick back. 
out and out and in. We need six to 11 servings of grains and preferably those would be whole grains. We need two to three servings of low fat dairy. That's for calcium. And, and there's certainly no problem with small servings of, of fish or meat. And you know, if you don't eat the sugar-coated cereal and the potato chips and the junkies. There we go. And there's no problem in getting in all those servings of, of the good stuff. <laughs> if you try and eat the good stuff and the junk, then it's, then it's tough. I mean, truly, that's a lot of food if you... But you know, five servings of fruits and vegetables, they're not big servings, no. like the half a, a cup, cup of broccoli. Yeah. I mean, I've never yeah. eaten that little in my That's life. Right. That's mm -hmm. right. That, that is a fair amount for some people, though. A I plump. Mean, to get well, to yeah, for some people who are eating none. Exactly. But nutrition would be so vastly improved if we cut out so many of the prepackaged junk stuff and, and ate from produce, fruits and vegetables. It doesn't have to be fresh. It can be canned or frozen. There's really virtually no lack of nutrients, uh, no loss of nutrients in canning and freezing. These are deltoids, anterior and lateral. We're gonna work it all today. We're gonna hit the back, side, and front. Whoop. And down. For us here, you know, in the winter time, it's almost better for us to choose the frozen vegetables because quite often by the time those fresh veggies get up here, yeah, they've traveled you know, a long they way. They have. Um, but I'll still take the fresh. I would <laughs> say, I would true say, what you're saying. And to tell but, you the truth, yeah. I'm amazed at how much we do get in the winter in this cold country. And really the quality of it too. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It truly is amazing. Now, we did the front and side. We want to do the back. Where's my other ten? There it is. Here's what you do. This is yours in the break. Come on over here. This is the back side of your delt. So you just lift up. Good 10 reps. See back. Cholesterol and saturated fat are not the same thing. Cholesterol is found only in animals. Plants can't make cholesterol because they don't have a liver. Eating high cholesterol foods is not a problem for most people. Your liver will just cut back on its production of cholesterol to compensate. But eating saturated fat is a problem. It stimulates your body to overproduce cholesterol. So a no cholesterol label on a food made with saturated palm oil is very misleading. You don't have to work up a sweat to get fit, but you do need to work up your heart rate. Aerobic exercise is any sustained physical activity that produces heavy breathing and high heart rate. And now I know what you're thinking, and the answer is yes. If you can keep it going for 15 to 20 minutes, it's got to qualify as aerobic. Regular aerobic exercise conditions your heart and keeps your body fat under control. It moderates your reaction to stress and increases your stamina. Such a deal. Since you're over in that position, we'll do some flies. All you do is bring those elbows high. So you got shoulder girdle work, you've got some rhomboid work, and it's hard, troops. And you're uh -huh. still holding that brace. And you're still holding that <laughs> brace, yeah, you just don't ever let that tummy flop, do you? Let me tell you about a study uh, which, which actually was done at several leading medical centers where they evaluated the relationship between A, C, and E vitamins. Is this it? Ten. One more. <laughs> Just to show off. <laughs> okay. Supine. Let's do flies the other way. The relationship between the vitamins... Just got to clear and my waist here. <laughs> Here's flies. Oh! Press your low back down. That means brace. Between these antioxidant vitamins and age-related macular degeneration, which is the leading cause of blindness in adults, well, they couldn't find any relationship between the vitamins and the disease. But they found if you, in people who ate foods rich in antioxidant vitamins, they had a 43% 
reduced risk of this cause of cancer than those who didn't eat those foods. Get out your broccoli. That's the take home message for today. See you next time. Exercise wear by Gilda Marks. The exercise wear with the breathables lining. It figures is produced in association with the Life Network in the splendid grandeur of the Rocky Mountains at the Bamp Springs Hotel. If you would like to buy an exercise video, a copy of this show, or one of our cookbooks, call 1-800-MORE-FIT. Viewers requiring an answer from it figures should enclose $3 and a self-addressed stamped envelope. In the United States, the National Weather Service and Environmental Protection Agency have been testing a new index of ultraviolet radiation, which has been in place in Canada since 1992. It's an effort to decrease the skin cancer caused by increased sun exposure in recent years. Long-term exposure to ultraviolet rays also contributes to cataracts and other eye problems. The damage is cumulative and ill effects don't appear for decades. But the trouble starts in youth, because most people have been exposed to 80% of their lifetime radiation by the time they're age 18. The UV index alerts you to take extra precautions, sunscreen, sunglasses, and a hat. But very troubling is a study of suburban adolescents in Virginia, which showed that only 9% of teenagers always use sunscreen when out in the sun, and 33% never do. Worse, those with a family history of skin cancer were no more likely to use sunscreen than the others. We have to make sun protection like really cool, and now we're like so ready to step. I'll tell you a lot what's like really cool. <laughs> it's this mountain air. <laughs> yes, it's cool, literally. Oh, we're like so <laughs> glorious. Like he goes and then she goes and then like he goes. <laughs> I tried to count one day how many likes my 16-year-old and friends said in a half an hour. <laughs> they were just bombarded with likes. I Lucky mean, you couldn't know. count them. You couldn't count them, truly. Sounds like a valley girl. I'm gonna, <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> She's I'm going to change my girl. march. It's going to become a one, two, three tap. Looks like this. A one, two, three tap. One, two, three tap. Forward and back. That's it. Got it? You got that rut <laughs> worn in your carpet yet? <laughs> okay. We're adding on this time. Come back and cross over. Grapevine. Right over and come on back. Forward and back. One, two, three, tap. And one, two, three, tap. And over and back again. That's it. You know, based on uh, satellite measurements, this index reports the UV strength at noon on a scale from 0 to 15. Uh -huh. And what's neat is it takes into consideration cloud and haze and pollution, which do to some extent um, block the UV. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to change, come back and cross over once, Tap your little foot right here in March two. One, two. Forward and back. Cross over. Now give it a tap and one, two, march. That's it. And back. Cross over and tap. One, two. Forward and back. Okay, next time we do this march, I'm gonna preview a new change. You cross over and march. I'm gonna do a rock step, forward and back. 
we all cross over. We all try this rock step, front, and back. <laughs> Forward and back. Eat your heart out, Catherine and Arthur. <laughs> Forward and back. One, two, three, tap. Now you do that rock step. Have a look, see. I'm reaching right over. So it's a major rock step. <laughs> easy for you to do with these legs I know. the ceiling. Laurie and I, I definitely yeah, have easy. an advantage <laughs> <laughs> for once. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, we are, I would say, what, about eight inches taller than you? <laughs> about a mile and a half. Up. Okay, forward and back. We got this down pat, I think. Here's the last two, and back. Cross over, that great big reach. Whoa, forward and back. that one. <laughs> Did you? Easy to hold the cross early. over, we'll just hold the cross over. Got you back? I'm with you now. Okay, <laughs> great. Okay, now enough watch coffee. my trailing leg. It begins to lag behind. Here's four more. Now three, and you're gonna hold the very last one. Last one, here it is, right there, okay. Take this opportunity to, hello, hamstrings. Wake them up, and just a little salute to your gastrocnemius, the big muscle in your lower calf. You need to have your heel down here. And then pelvic tilt, and the stretch comes on your hip flexors right in there. And let's cross back over and try the other hamstring. You're bearing your weight, bracing your upper body on the floor leg. So this UV index is set up to estimate that fair-skinned people, say like Lori, complexion like hers, uh, would burn in less than 13 minutes when the index reads very high. Now she would have a little longer on the days when it's just high. She'd have 13 to 20 minutes. Let's move back to your gastroc, big muscle in the lower leg. When the index reads moderate, Lori might be able to stay out 20 to 30 minutes before she'd burn. Here comes your hip, hip flexors. And when it's low, lot of cloud cover, she could stay out half an hour to an hour. So it's really built in favor of warning light-skinned people. Okay, let's get up and march. All right, now we're gonna do just what we did in the warm-up. We're gonna cross over and march two, cross over and march two. In four, three, two, here we go, right over. Tap that little foot and march. One, two. Cross over, march. One, two. Cross over, march. Now we're gonna add on. Cross over, march two. Give me two kicks. That's it. Cross over, march two, two kicks. Now, next time, the crossover changes. Instead of crossing right over, go on the diagonal to the far corner, and then march to back up. Here's your kicks, two kicks, and over the diagonal, way up oh, there. That's more fun. Yeah, well, I need to get Jen in here. <laughs> you know, warmed up. Else I have this coat on the whole time. Me too. So, I was ready for some kicks. Cross over the diagonal, back up, and here's two kicks. When we get to the other side, let's make those two kicks two great big knees. Here they are. There they are. Great big ones. We take a lot of solace in knowing that you burn more body fat when you work out in a cool environment. <laughs> you don't hear many complaints from us. We'd rather it be on the cool side than the hot side. Oh, definitely. Okay, next time we come to these knees, we're gonna add more. Four knees, four what? That's it, two, three more. Two more. Last one. Warm yeah, and right up over. here. Yeah? Huh? Warm and right up here. You ready to take off your jacket? That's Whoa, when we separate the men quite. from the boys. <laughs> Crossover. 
Yes. You know, the sun is directly overhead, or closest to overhead, at 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. in most North American time zones. So skin specialists say avoid that time and two hours before and after that time. Then if you build in a little margin of error, you're gonna be avoiding the sun from about 10 to four. Really cramps my style, I can tell you. <laughs> Sunscreen, baseball hats, straw hats. Okay, crossing over, gonna change the arms on these knees. Just let them swing free. Yes, this is leading to something. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do knees this time. Next time, I'm gonna try this bizarre split repeater. You do those knees, here preview my change. It's a repeater of two, step back and a knee, repeater of two. Anybody game for that no, song? It's pretty tricky. It's okay, no it's option. a knee repeater of two. Step back and give a knee back there. Again, knee repeater of two. Step back and give a knee. Yikes. If you don't like that, you have my complete understanding. <laughs> <laughs> Just do those four knees. Your choice, but we got folks out there who could dance circles around me. This is for you. Knee repeater two, step back and knee. Knee repeater two, step back and knee. I may warm up here with that. I think so, at this rate. Again, we call it a split repeater. That's it. And over, diagonal. Take it back. Split repeater, twice. It's a knee repeater of two, Step down and with the back knee come up. Once more, are you game? I can't <laughs> follow my face yet. This is not uh -oh. <laughs> Back and split repeater. And over. Charlie, Hold you're it wild here. and crazy moves. Hold it here. <laughs> That's about as crazy as I get. <laughs> I do not think that we've done any more complicated than that. Crossover. Five, six, seven, eight. Whoop. That's it. Now, if I leave my old trailing leg behind, it looks like this, and it comes on down. It just can't make it over. It's a straddle touch. Practice that and see you back to take it somewhere. The nurse's health study found that in the first two years after quitting smoking, women gain an average of 5.3 pounds more than those women who continue to smoke. Of course, the overall benefits of quitting cigarettes far outweigh any risk and weight gain, but if fear of additional poundage enslaves you to tobacco, take heart in a Canadian study which shows that most women lose all or most of those extra pounds. Quit smoking and start exercising. A Brigham and Women's Hospital study shows even modest weight gain in the middle years can significantly increase the risk of coronary heart disease in women. Results found those who gained 11 to 17 pounds after age 18 had 25% greater risk of heart attack than those gaining 10 pounds or less. Those gaining 18 to 24 pounds increased their risk 65% and the risk tripled for those who gained more than 40 pounds. A University of Southern California study found that highly active women who averaged 3.8 hours of exercise weekly since puberty were 60% less likely than inactive women to get breast cancer. Those who logged one to three hours of physical activity per week since puberty were 30% less likely to develop breast cancer compared to sedentary women. Though this is just one study, it suggests that regular exercise may have a tremendous payoff. Tufts University mounted a study of postmenopausal women aged 50 to 70. 
Researchers found that the women who weight trained 45 minutes twice a week for a year improved bone density in their legs and spine by 1%. Women not weight training lost 2.5% bone density. The weight trainers reduced body fat and increased muscle mass by 3 to 4 pounds. Remember, the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn even as you sleep. Did you get that straddle touchdown, Pat? Okay. Last one and cross right on over. Cross right over. Miss Lloyd? Yes, sir. Y'all all right today? I'm telling you, it's cold and it's early. Straddle touch. <laughs> <laughs> girl from Texas. <laughs> we just got Lori whipped right into shape here. These Canadian Rockies, this fresh air. Oh, yeah. You're not going <laughs> to like July in Houston anymore. <laughs> Straddle touch. <laughs> Three more. Are your beautiful legs freezing to death? Freezing to death. They're warming up after you now. Cross over. You need to get to know the costume, Mr. We need to put some long leggings on you. To get long woolies. Now hold this straddle touch. You're going to add on. Stay here. Just give me basic and straddle. It's up and down. Up. Two more. Okay. Cross right on over. Cross over. Only twice. Now two straddle touches. And two basics. That's it. Two crossovers. Forget the straddles. Two basics. Two crossovers. Cutting this down. One basic. One crossover. One basic. Don't forget the basic. And one crossover. So that's your bridge. A basic, down, up, and crossover. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. All right. When we cross over again, we're going to add on. Two, up, touch, down, touch, right here. Up, touch, down, touch, go again. Do your basic. Cross over. Up, touch, down, touch, times two. That's it. Good. Next thing I want to change is the rhythm on my arms. So you just do what you're doing. Hold it steady. Have a look, see. Next time. That sets you up to play in the big leagues. <laughs> NBA. Here we come. It's Arkansas. I'm in the lead, uh, as usual. Man, there's only one team, the Houston Rockets. UCLA trailing way behind. <laughs> way behind. Just no chance of catching up. <laughs> the Houston Rockets. They're called the NBA. I thought that was a Two baseball team. Row. Isn't that a baseball oh, team? <laughs> I'm going to pay for this. <laughs> hey, you guys, she's a well woman. <laughs> And that Arkansas team. Didn't we see them lose? Oh, no, 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 no. Here it is. Didn't we see them lose? The Calgary Dinosaurs. Yeah. of Calgary in the NBA. Sure, sure. We'll put them in there. Stranger <laughs> things have happened. Last time. Here's your last chance at those free throws. Okay. Hold it here. Hold it in basic. Now, when you have a minute, turn it around. We're going to take two basics and tap and change, starting now. Here's one, here's the other, here comes the tap down, that's it. Now let your lead leg lead your direction. Now you're working on the side of the step. I just want to get you ready to practice this in the break. Adding on, adding on, up touch, down touch. That's it, and go the other way. Yep, and give me a tap right here. Up, touch, down, touch. Okay, you want to get this down on automatic pilot in the break. And I also want you to turn your step. Turn your step so the long end is toward the TV. All right, see you. And up.
More fatal heart attacks occur between 6 a.m. and noon, not because of morning exercise, but because of morning. The blood platelets responsible for clotting are stickiest in the morning. Regular exercise at any time of day reduces the risk of heart attack. Thousands of North Americans die each year from inactivity, so don't be afraid to work out in the morning if that's the best time for you. The trick is to be regular with exercise. Time of day doesn't really matter. Your body loses two to three quarts of fluid daily just through perspiration, exhalation, and excretion. Now that fluid must be replaced or your major systems begin to break down. The rule of thumb is drink eight, eight ounce glasses of water daily, and that's just your minimum because as temperature and exercise increase, you need still more. If you're not drinking enough water, your urine will be quite yellow. Clear urine signals good hydration. Canada, we're still eating too much fat. A gram of fat is nine calories, compared with only four calories per gram for carbohydrate or protein. Though monounsaturated fats are more heart healthy than other fats, all fat is equally fattening, so the goal is to cut down on all fats. Excess dietary fat contributes to excess body fat, and that brings health problems in and of itself. Try to get your fat intake down to 20 to 30 percent of your total daily calories. If you're stuck on a fat loss plateau and are already doing some sort of vigorous exercise, try adding a walk after supper. Moderate exercise, like walking, doesn't compete with digestion right after a meal. It feels fine, and it aids digestion, and it reduces fat storage on your body. Fats entering the bloodstream from digestion can be used as fuel so they don't get deposited in your fat cells. We're on our up touches. You got two of them. Now you do what you know on the other end. I'm gonna make a little change in where I put those up touches. I put the first one right off the side. I put the second one there and I pick up the basic from the side. So up touch and down, up touch and down. And there you pick up your basic. So the basic is not picked up from behind the step, but off the side. Yes, here it is. It. Now, can I make another change? You do those little up touches, do just what you know. I'm gonna do one and march for two. There you go, two basics. Give me a tap, up touch and down touch and march, march. And the first march starts on your foot that taps. And down tap, march, march. I think we got it. I think she's got it. And here it is. March, march. You know your risk of developing malignant melanoma at least doubles if you've had one or more serious sunburns during childhood oh, or yep. adolescence. Man, that says... Put it on you and put it on those kids. Sunscreen those chillin' before they go out. March, march. I've seen cases of people suffering from malignant melanoma from when they were burned early infancy, early childhood. Sure, sure. I, I don't doubt it. I mean, sunscreen hasn't been long, around that long. Mm -hmm. That is so scary. We used to lay out in the sun all the time. Oh, we, oh yeah, too. Up I know. Yeah. We did it, too. I know. Sunbathing. And my mother, in her wisdom, says, this is not a good idea. Okay. Well, I hasten to tell you that Deb uh, D is a nurse, so she's seen it all. I'm going to make a change on this march next time. You do your tap and march. I'm gonna tap and pivot twice. It's kind of fun. Here you go. Up, tap, down, tap. Goodbye, hello. <laughs> Have you got it? Up, here it is. Goodbye, hi there. Last chance. Up, and. Hold this basic, counting you to alternate knees. 
Anchors, four, three, two, one. Now, we're just gonna do a little check up here. Tell me how hard you're working. Don't know? Here's your choice. Here's the menu. Would you pick very, very hard or somewhat hard? Ideally, you can honestly say you're working somewhat hard to hard. You don't need to be so breathless that you can't talk. Okay, let's cool you down. Just give me basic and tap and change. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Instead of a tap, give me a leg lift. Five, six, seven, lift. There you go. Five, six, can I add on? Four, four. step touches right here. Four, three, oh. two, basics. Two basics. Here's the lift, four step touches, four, three, at least stay moving. We'll be back to stretch you out. Four step touches. One pound of body fat burns only two measly calories a day to sustain itself, but a pound of muscle burns 30 to 50 calories a day to stay alive. The more muscle you have, the higher your metabolism and the more calories you burn even as you sleep. Unfortunately, metabolism slows with age due to loss of muscle to the tune of about a half a pound of muscle a year after age 30. If you weight train though, you can preserve muscle and keep Keep your metabolism high to stay lean. I bet hardly a week goes by without hearing someone say that exercise got them through a nasty divorce or the stress of job loss or the depressing loss of a loved one. I hear it all the time. And it's not pie in the sky, it's real. Exercise reduces tension by desensitizing your body to stress. Regular workouts train the body to react less intensely to stress, leaving you better able to cope with anxiety provoking events. It's much better than value. Straddle your step here and put your calf on the step, then draw your rear away from your foot and you feel a hamstring stretch. Look what's come up in the sky, don't you know? Just as uh -huh. soon as we're needing to stretch, not making our own, own heat, the sun popped out and it feels wonderful. Does it just ever? wonderful? So that's your big hamstring group. Now, if you'll take your body weight in your hands and push your back foot way, 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 way back there and get a stretch here in your hip flexor muscles. Yes, that's the one. Feel that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we'll go to the soleus, the, the deeper of the two calf muscles. You want a severe bend in your leg and your heel down. You know, you can get a sunburn uh, even with a hat on. It, it can come up from the ground. Pavement, water, sand, snow, all reflect. It's like having a sun on the ground. So sunscreen, sunscreen. A little trivia question. Why is a wide brim hat better than a baseball cap for sun protection? Because of your cheek and neck. You know, man, Keeps you get a warm. bad burn on the back of that neck. Does that ever smart at night on the sheets? I've Let's had try. that, too. That does I work. have, too. I have, too. <laughs> I tan easily, but I burn, too, and I believe in sunscreen. These Take gas rocks will stretch the other end as we say goodbye. Go get them. <laughs> exercise wear by Gilda Marks. The exercise wear with the breathables lining. It figures is produced in association with the Life Network in the splendid grandeur of the Rocky Mountains at the Bamp Springs Hotel. Take it on to your hip flexors. If you would like to buy an exercise video, a copy of this show, or one of our cookbooks, call 1-800-MORE-FIT. 
Viewers requiring an answer from It Figures should enclose $3 and a self-addressed stamped envelope.